Hi everyone, I warmly welcome all of you to my movie review YouTube channel, Miss Fanatic, guys I am just another cinephile like you, who love to watch movies and talk about them, so if you like this review then subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also try to like and share this video. Today I am going to review this 1992 Mexican Spanish romance drama movie, Like Water for Chocolate, this Mexican romantic drama movie, was released in 1992, and its plot was adapted from a novel. It won many awards and has also been nominated for an Oscar, as the best foreign language film of that year. The plot revolves around a young woman, named Tita, who loves a man named Pedro, who lives on the same ranch. Youngest of her two sisters, Tita has been always obliged by her mother, to remain unmarried, in the name of the family traditions, besides to take care of her mother, until her mother Mama Elena dies. To remain close with her love Tita, Pedro chooses to marry Tita's elder sister Rosoro. So, what happens next? Does the film end with a love triangle between these three characters? Will Tita and Pedro can ever love and live together? Would Tita will ever be able to marry in her life? Or would our protagonist Tita, will later meet someone else, more deserving than Pedro and will again fall in love? Like Water for Chocolate, is an exciting story about finding and longing, for your true love. The main plot of the film, revolves around finding your true love, and waiting for, what you once desired for yourself. Food, isn't it true, that what people eat, impacts their emotions? Yes, it is, and this film truly demonstrates that, food, great food, and great cooking are the only things that bring all types of people together, and the film connects feelings, ranging from romanticism to eroticism, with food and eating. It is through food, that humans are emotionally linked, linking moods, feelings, sensuality, love, lust, and all kinds of good and bad emotions. The entire film revolves around one major theme, i.e., cooking. In fact, it is a cooking movie, that expresses people's emotions and feelings in relation to the kind of food they eat. Tita is the one, naturally gifted cook, who has a knack for cooking. Tita enjoys cooking, and puts her full love, hidden passions, real feelings, and locked emotions, into each dish. No character in the film, can escape their hidden passions, by eating her meals, and Tita unlocks, all of their secrets hidden inside them, with great intensity. There are various instances in the movie, where Tita reminds some of their lost love, by her magical charismatic delicious cooking style, leading to weeping their hearts out loud, love of their lives, even Elena too couldn't escape herself from her hidden secrets. Tita's secrets, all her hidden secrets and recipes, are kept inside Tita's cookbook. Fragrance and smell, the strong smells, arose from chopping garlic and onions, which caused the unpreventable crying. The smell of delicious Mexican food, chicken soup, thyme, laurel, steamed milk, and more and more, each recipe in Tita's cookbook is inspired by a memory from her life. The aromatic fragrances of love and eroticism in the dishes made by Tita, such as quails in rose petal sauce, by this meal, Tita enters into everyone's heart and of course, especially that of Pedro's. The secret is that when you cook it, you cook it with a lot of love. The movie shows Tita's self-empowerment, and how rebelliously, she improvises her self-growth to achieve independence, freedom, and happiness. Once modest, restrained, and obedient, Tita later learns to grow, against all the injustice done by her mother, and stand up to her violent behavior. Mama Elena is the man of her family, the boss, she strongly dislikes seeing tears, traditions and values are extremely important to her. Rejecting weaknesses, she dominates all of her three girls' lives, particularly Tita's, the younger one controlling Tita's life, and leaving Tita with no choice but to obey her orders without question. Yet, her deceased mother doesn't leave Tita alone, even after her death, constantly reminding her of all of her wrongdoings. The movie has some supernatural element, magic in a real situation, the lost soul, the ghost apparition of her dead mother, once again frightens and constrains Tita's rights to live and love. Cause she is denied to follow her heart, so she express her feelings, passion and emotions to the world, so she do it through by preparing food, by cooking food and sharing with others her different different recipes. Breaking every rule, Tita's cooking skills, allow her to express her inner self to society, and it is through her delicacy, that she captures people's hearts, brains, and nerves. The ending is quite sad, though Tita and the story of her life, 
choose to remain alive to every generation, through her cookbook, and with every closing and opening, on the pages she wrote in her cookbook diary, so will her smell, will remain still fresh over time. As a quote from the movie goes likes this, she'll continue to live, as long as someone cooks her recipes. The only and only character, I truly liked in this film, was Dr. Brown, the most important, but underrated character, who was beautiful, lovable, and the most understanding person, Tita had ever met. He assists her, in recovering from depression, regaining her freedom by breaking free, from the bonds that cling to her, and achieving ultimate happiness. Brown looked after Tita, like no one else in the film. The one thing I dislike in the whole film, was its translation in English, I hope the original film's Spanish dialogues, were more effective than those with English, which usually changes the context of the whole movie, making it sometimes, very unhelpful to understand, the story and context of the film. So, thank you for watching this review, so please put a beautiful comment, below on this review video, and tell us what you feel about this film. I would surely love to read, your beautiful comments, thanks, goodbye.